Hello everyone, this is uh, Sri Harsha from Broadcom. In this presentation, let us look at a feature enhancement for what are your forwarder. Uh, we'll first look at the existing infrastructure for what are your forwarding with vhost and full offload and some of the requirements. We will look at uh, some issues with what are your forwarding in the current framework in OBS. We then look at a solution that is currently being proposed and followed by some performance data to show the improvements. Let's go to the next slide. So let's take a look at the configuration and various components that are involved in what are forwarding using vhost and full offload. Now, as shown in the diagram, we use two bridges in this configuration. We use SRIOV and OBS DPDK full offload. The first bridge forwards traffic between an uplink port and VF representatives. The second bridge forwards traffic between a VF and a vhost user port. The VF is connected internally in hardware to the VF representative in the first bridge by configuring switch dev mode or full offload in the NIC. Uh, so after the initial few packets in slow path, the traffic gets fully offloaded to the VF. When this offloaded traffic is received on the VF, we just want to forward it to the vhost user port without parsing or matching on any of the packet headers. So there's a one-to-one -one mapping between the VF and the vhost user port. Similarly, any egress traffic from the vhost user port should be just forwarded to the VF. To facilitate this, we add uh, OF cuttle rules in the second bridge, specifying match on just the import and actions equal to our port. So the, the requirement here is that we want to avoid data path cache that is EMC, SMC, uh, and also the data path flow table lookup. And we expect this forwarding to be done with minimum lookup overhead. Let's go to the next slide. The current framework in OVSD PDK, however, does not support uh, efficient processing of uh, such simple flows. Though the OF cuttle rules do not match on any of the packet headers, like MAC address or IP header fields, the packet headers are still passed and a mini flow is extracted and a lookup is performed in EMC or SMC cache. So we want to avoid this lookup in the data path cache and flow tables. And there's room for what are your forwarding performance improvement if we avoid this uh, unnecessary overhead in the user space data path. Let's go to the next slide. So now let's look at the solution that's being proposed. We are working with Ilya and the OBS community on this uh, solution. Uh, and the solution involves the following design uh, points at a high level. Uh, we, we need to first identify these simple flows in the data path. There are a few fields in addition to the import that we have to exact match. Uh, in user space data path due to some constraints, and those are listed here, like DL type, VLAN, TCI, et cetera. So if only these fields are being matched, then the flow is considered as a simple flow. Otherwise, if any of the packet header fields are specified in match, then it is not a simple flow. Uh, we also need a way to maintain and manage these uh, simple flows. So we build a 64-bit identifier or a mark ID uh, using the minimum set of uh, exact match fields. Uh, and at the time of creating the data path flow, we add it to a new hash map table called the simple match table. Of course, we also add the flow to the regular flow table in the data path. So once these flows are added to the simple match table, the next step is to optimize the data path by processing these simple flows with minimum lookup. For this, we check if the import on which the packet is received has any additional flows uh, in the regular flow table. Uh, otherwise, if the number of flows in the simple match table and the flow table are equal, then we don't have any other flows for the given ingress port. And so this flow can be looked up in the simple tab match table. Uh, we built a 64-bit mark ID using the implicit EM fields that we mentioned earlier. And if there is a hit in the simple match table, we can avoid further lookup uh, processing in the data path, like mini flow extraction, uh, EMC, SMC lookup, etc. And this gives us performance gains for traffic to and from the Vertio device in the VM. So this covers the new design at a high level. Also, uh, this enhancement is currently being targeted 
uh, for OBS uh, release 2.17. Let's go to the next slide. This is the last slide. Here we have a simple graph that shows performance gain with simple match flows. Uh, and the configuration is what we have seen in earlier slides. We can see that before this optimization, the PPS rate of flows for 64 byte size packets and for various uh, number of flows ranging from 32 to 1K flows uh, is approximately about, about 8 to 8.5 uh, million packets per second. Uh, we then build OBS with the uh, simple match feature and with this we can see that the number is consistently close to about uh, 10 million packets per second. So that's about uh, an improvement of 15%. Uh, uh, so with this we come to the end of this presentation. Thank you.